first uh, 10 and 11. And it reads, it says, For as the rain comes down, and the snow is heavy, and do not return there, but water the earth, and make it break forth and bud, that it may give seeds to sower and bread to eat. What's the next one? It says, So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void. Oftentimes we stop there and we read that, that description. It says, My word will not return to me void. But then he goes on and says, It shall not, it says, But it shall accomplish what I please. What I please for it to do. And it says, And it shall prosper in the things for which I sin. So God has a purpose. You know, when you look at the rain, the first thing it talks about the rain and the snow. That's providing for our, our physical needs. But how do you guys know that God has a purpose for your spiritual growth? Amen. So oftentimes you look at the things that you're going through and you think it's, it's hard. You say, man, I can't make it. But you got to know what God has told you. You got to know what God has said. Because no matter what, I think it's very And God said, it shall come to pass. So you gotta stay firm and believe in his word. Trust and have faith in him that he was gonna do what he said. Yes. So just trust in God. Yes. Trust in God. Amen. God. Let's go for a little prayer. Lord, I thank you for this day. Thank God. Lord, I just thank God. First of all, please give praise unto your holy name, Lord God. Lord, as we gather here, Father God, Lord, we pray, Father God, that your word comes forth, Father God, in a mighty way, Lord. We will pray that lives will be transformed, Father God. Lord, we just ask, Father God, that you just, just be in the midst, Father God. And we know you're here because you said, but you more gathered, Father God, you're in the midst. So we thank you already for that. But Father God, we pray, Father God, that the people are here who receive, Father God, the real word, Father God, you have for them today, Lord. But they will grow in the knowledge of you and we understand, Father God, things that you have for them. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. Lord, we ask, Father God, that you watch over your man's service today, Father God. Empower him, Father God, Lord, to bring forth a mighty word today, O oh God. Lord, ask, Father God, Lord, that your word come forth, Father God, Lord, to every change your word. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. Lord, we ask you to have your way in this service today. Lord, we trust the Son of Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
together with me. I say, Lord, I'm so happy to know you. I was this lost in sin. Far from a peaceful shore. Here in deep distress, the king singing a rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despair cry. From the waters lifted me in. Now say, am I? spirit in this place this morning. I tell you, it's the kind of spirit where the blessings flow. It's the kind of spirit where healing takes place. Amen. That's the kind of spirit that I tell you what, it's a spirit that invites the presence of God in. Amen. It's the kind of spirit that invites God's presence into the room. Say, Lord, you're welcome. Say, you're welcome in this place. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, you're welcome in my heart. Change me. Rearrange me. Make me brand new. Heal me. Deliver me. Make me whole. Touch your head. Say, change my mind. In the name of Jesus. Say, I want the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. Not my thoughts, but your thoughts. Not my way, but your way. Say, I receive it right now. Come on, reach up and say, I receive it right now. I receive it right now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before you have your seat, amen. Just a little bit of hallelujah. 